In this video, I'm going to talk about roto brushing, which is a process where we can actually use a brush tool that will enable us with video to actually edit out the background of the video. This can be a little bit touchy. There's several elements that you want to take into consideration when creating a roto brush video. However, for this demonstration, first I'd like to talk about what I brought into After Effects for you to work with. First off, Notice you have your default composition, and then I actually have two elements here. I have an MP4, and I also have a JPEG. My goal is to have the animation of the student from the MP4 on top of the space background. So to begin, I'm gonna go ahead and drag and drop both elements onto my composition. Now I'm actually gonna grab space here. I need to actually pull that behind student. So I'm gonna click on the icon and drag and drop it. There we go. Now also for the space JPEG, since that's gonna be my background, for right now, I can go ahead and kind of lock this in place. Now, with that in mind, to locate your Roto Brush tool, you're gonna to come up to your main toolbar area. The Roto Brush is attached to a little person with a brush icon. There's two brushes, the Roto Brush and the Refine Edge. You will want to start out with the Roto Brush tool. That's going to create your outline and do most of the masking for you. Now, before we can actually go in and work with the Roto Brush tool, you are going to want to actually work on the graph, the MP4 itself for the student. So to do this, if I double click, Notice how now it made a layer tab for me here. I can actually click between and go to my composition or I can specifically focus on the video of the student. Roto brush will not actually work in your composition. You need to work off to the side on the main layer of your video. So here you can see I have a little green circle here. This isn't like masking in Photoshop where you have to color everything in. What you will want to do is click and drag and kind of create a rough outline. So I'm going to come through and it's not about actually filling in the person. It's more about going through and catching the edges here. Now, what I like to do for my masks, and I pull this over from Photoshop, is along the bottom here, you should see three little icons where you can actually toggle different alpha modes. You can toggle on and off boundaries. I personally like to have the alpha overlay. I like the bright color that will kind of help me, guide me as far as being able to see my edges. So, this is definitely a trickier graphic because of the fact that a lot of the colors are very similar. If I were working against a green screen, it would make life a lot easier. So before I dive into some of the other elements of the different tool options here, while I'm still on the Roto brush, if I hold in the Alt key, you see how my icon here turns from a green plus to a red minus. I can actually come in and refine and pull the mask in a little bit. And I actually kind of want to come along the edge here, kind of lost her sleeve in the process. There we go, that's a little bit better. You can also see along the top here, we kind of lost part of her face. Also, I don't actually want to have the arm of the armchair if I can avoid it. Now, if I begin to scrub through the video, you see how After Effects is really working to try to make sure that it's keeping those edges. Now here's a section though that it wasn't aware of whenever I was first working with the video. So I'm just gonna come in and hollow that out a little bit. And here you can see I'm actually losing the arm. So we'll go in to bring her arm back in, take that portion out.
So you can see here, you can really work with as far as After Effects and doing a Rotobrush effect. Now, there's one other tool available to you with the Rotobrush. Let me go ahead and come back. Clicking and holding on the Rotobrush tool, there's also the Refine Edge tool. This really helps as far as coming along the edges. And you see how she has this white halo from the backdrop. If I come along here and just drag, and let me turn back on my, map, my alpha mask there, you see how much better that looks as far as the edge goes. Kind of getting that, I'm losing that halo effect and getting those much harder edges. Now, whenever I'm ready to actually preview what I did, I can come back into the composition, and here you can see the end result of our rotoscope. Notice how now I can actually see the backdrop behind the person. But now I can have a little fun with it as far as repositioning her. and allowing After Effects to work through the edge refinement in the masking there. It is important to note to everybody that yes, this can be a pretty intensive workflow here as far as the layout goes. But once you've made your changes, and let's say I come in here and I unlock, pull back, so I'm actually more at about five seconds I can come in and change my length here to 0 06. And now my video is edited and ready to be published.